Hey everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a home decor haul where I show you my newly acquired home decor items and how I style them throughout my home. So I'm gonna give you guys some styling ideas and hopefully I can show you through this video that you don't need to spend a lot of money to get that high-end designer look. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. Okay, so the first thing I got was this really pretty ceramic tissue cover, which is super practical. I love how heavy it is. So when you pull a tissue out, the whole box doesn't lift up and I love these because they help something that is practical but would kind of be an eyesore otherwise blend more seamlessly into your decor and just feel a lot more thought out and intentional so we're gonna put this in our living room and we have a tissue box right on our coffee table just because that's really convenient for us and we use it all the time and this guy was only $23 I got it on a sale at Bed Bath & Beyond and you know sometimes if you look at tissue covers on Pottery Barn or other sites like that they're so ridiculously expensive so I thought that this was a really good price for it and I just love how simple this is but how it still has a little bit of personality with the rib detailing so definitely a fun piece to kind of add into our living room decor and make it a little bit more practical all right so next up I got this super gorgeous rattan lamp. Now I've seen one similar to this on Amazon. I will link everything that I possibly can below, but I actually found this at HomeGoods for $25, which I thought was a steal. I saw it and I was like, okay, we're getting that. So the thing about rattan that I really like is it adds warmth to your space. So especially if you have a lot of white walls or you just need a little bit of visual interest, rattan, wicker, seagrass, those are perfect things to incorporate into your decor to give it a little bit more of a cozy feel so I'm going to actually use this in some shelf styling and I know that kind of sounds stupid because you know Jenna you can't plug in a lamp from a shelf but I got this purely for decorative purposes you can totally do that with lamps by the way just pop them somewhere even if you don't have a plug and just use them for decor so um, I think this would look really pretty on a countertop maybe so I got it for eventually when I want to switch my decor around and put this on my kitchen countertop you guys know I'm a huge fan of little tiny lamps instead of under cabinet lighting I think that they just look so much more polished and they give you more light and do the exact same thing so definitely a fun thing to incorporate in a kitchen I think this would eventually look really cute maybe on a desk or something like that but for now we're gonna put it upstairs in our upstairs room and I'm gonna use it in some shelf styling just to give our shelves a little bit of warmth and texture all right so this next piece was such a steal it is this gorgeous whitewash planter with this really pretty handle detail you guys know I'm a big fan of handle details I think that they really elevate the look of your piece and help it have that like kind of found vintage look to it so it does have a drainage hole if you want to plant something in it outdoors it does say for outdoor use only but I think you could totally use it indoors if you used it for something just purely decorative I'm personally going to put it on a shelf in our upstairs room, maybe pop a little greenery accent next to it, just because I think it does have that really pretty vintage found look to it. And it's such a gorgeous piece to use in shelf styling decor. So that's what I'm gonna use it for. But I think this would be really pretty to also use in an outdoor space, maybe in a garden. It would add a really pretty rustic touch to a patio. You could maybe even plant some herbs in it and pop it on a windowsill. Definitely a very versatile piece and it's such a steal. I got it for $18 at Kohl's and this totally parallels those whitewashed terracotta planters that you see on high-end designer websites and those can go for over $100. This guy is a little bit smaller in size than those but still it gives you that really high-end designer feel for a really great price point. All right so this next piece is so precious to me because it is handmade and it is this gorgeous little olive oil cruet and I found this on Etsy. I believe it was in the $30 price range. I will link them below. I believe that there are still some left, but because they are handmade, there's only a limited amount available. So this is from KJF Pottery. Kevin makes these himself, and this was packaged super well when I opened it, and it had the sweetest little handwritten note. So right now, something that I've been really into lately is investing in those really high quality everyday kitchen essentials. So I'm kind of slowly going through my kitchen and upgrading certain pieces just to be those timeless pieces that I'm going to use for years and years and years. And this is one of those because I love that it's handmade and I love that it just adds character to my space. And when you invest in items that really enhance the aesthetics, and help you feel joy when you use them. I think that it really improves the cooking experience and makes it feel less like a chore and just something that you truly enjoy and 
are happy to do. So I'm just trying to kind of go through my kitchen and upgrade little pieces. And this was one of them because we use olive oil in almost all of our cooking. So definitely gonna add to the aesthetics out on our countertop and just really add to that found, curated, almost vintage vibe that we have going on. And I love when a countertop just kind of feels like it has character and is very lived in because I think kitchens tend to be a little bit cold sometimes with, you know, the hard countertops and tile and, you know, stainless steel appliances. I think that when you add those items that really warm it up and make it feel like it has character, it just really helps add to the aesthetics of your kitchen and just makes it have that really homey, cozy feel, which is what I'm going for. All right, so this is another one of those kind of everyday kitchen essentials. I don't use them every day, but I do use them very often. And they are these really pretty bowl covers. So when you're making dough or you just need to cover a bowl, you can just put these over and forget about saran wrap and things like that that aren't super environmentally friendly. And I love that you can just put these in the wash if they get dirty or whatever. And I love the really cute patterns that they come in. Before I was actually using a dish towel with a rubber band and the rubber band would always just snap back in my face and that's when I was like okay we're gonna order something like a little bit more legit so I got these they were $14 for a set of three on Amazon and these are perfect for when I need my pizza dough to rise I have been making a really simple recipe I will link it below but I've been doing that a lot lately and I usually let my pizza dough rise for one hour near the windowsill so this is perfect to cover it while it's rising and I think that these are just really practical for me because I usually make my pizza dough once a week and then we freeze some and we always just pull it out when we need a last minute meal so definitely gonna get a lot of good use out of these so something that I've been keeping my eye out for a lot lately are storage boxes that are also decorative because I feel like they're a great contrast to other decor like vases and books and they're just something that you can use to hide away clutter little things like card games remotes whatever and they still look really pretty at the same time so somewhere that you can find really affordable ones is Tuesday morning and I've been finding a lot of really cute ones there lately so I picked up a couple this one is probably my favorite I am obsessed with the almost ceramic like look on top and the herringbone pattern I love that these are black so they're gonna add a really nice contrast to my white shelves that I have upstairs so I like that these can kind of stand on their own in a shelf they take up a lot of space and they're really practical with storage and they're not really too expensive if you buy them at Tuesday morning I know that these can be really expensive if you buy them on designer sites so the small one here was $14.99 and then the large one was $19.99. So $35 for a set of two, which is not too bad. Like I said, I think that this really pretty glossy ceramic like look is a really pretty texture and adds just a little bit of visual interest to my decor. So I'm excited to put those up on the shelves and see how they look up there. I also got this really pretty striped set and I love the simplicity of these and how they add just a little bit of pattern and texture, but aren't too over the top. These ones were a little bit more expensive the larger one was 25 and then the smaller one was 20. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep them because they smell really funky and I'm not sure if it's like a chemical that was used in them or not, but yeah, we'll see. I just think that they are so cute and I love the pattern on them. I feel like they're just such a practical thing to incorporate into your decor. So definitely a fun item to keep your eye out for if you're ever at Tuesday morning or Home Goods or anything like that. Okay, so this next thing I found at Home Goods and I was truly shocked when I saw the price. So let me get it, it's kind of big here, but it is this really pretty rustic style stool and this guy was only $49.99. This is a dupe for the high-end vintage stools. Lulu in Georgia sells a very similar one in a little bit of a different color, but that one I believe is $200. And also this looks a lot like the true expensive vintage stools that cost so much now. And they're honestly getting harder and harder to find because they are getting so big in home decor. So I do have a couple that I got on Etsy which I will link the links to those below but it honestly looks identical to a vintage stool that I already have so that one's a little bit smaller and we have it in our bay window in our bedroom right now I've used it in my bathroom but what I'm going to use this one for is upstairs as a little mini side table we have a little spot on the end of our sofa that isn't big enough for a huge side table but just something small and rustic looking to pop a drink or a candle or just whatever 
over on the side just for convenience and I think that this adds a fun little rustic detail. You all know that when I go to Home Goods, I love to look for kind of worn aged things even if they aren't true antiques if they have that kind of worn patina look to them I am all about that. In my last Home Goods shop with me you all saw that I found that really big vintage inspired dough bowl that looked truly to be vintage I honestly could not even tell if it was or not so definitely a good find here and if you keep your eyes out at Home Goods, look for some old worn vintage looking wood I feel like that really just adds to the value and character of your space. Okay, so this next thing I got, I went a little crazy and I actually ordered four of them after I ordered the first one. So they are these really pretty brie bakers and I know they're not actually brie bakers. They're called the Forester Bowl and they're from Anthropology. They were originally $16, but I got them on clearance for $9.95 and I believe as I'm filming this right now, there are only two colors left. There were three when I originally bought it. So hopefully by the time I get this out, they are still available, but I am absolutely obsessed with this kind of ceramic handmade looking detail. I love the little handles on the sides. What I'm gonna use this for is to bake brie and appetizers in. So it is oven safe up to 350 degrees. So I figured if I need to warm up a little wheel of brie for an appetizer when I'm entertaining or whatever, how cute would it be to just pop it in here with a little bit of jam on top, a little sprinkle of rosemary, I just think that these are so cute. You could honestly use them for bowls if you want more of a bowl dish kind of thing, if you're making like chicken bowls or pasta, things like that. Um, so this is actually the pink color, which I think it looks to be a little bit more tan. And this is the one that is now sold out. So I believe they have lilac and navy left. So this is the navy. And it honestly looks a little bit more just kind of like denim blue to me, which I really love the look of. So I actually ordered two more of the navy ones because I figured these would be perfect to have on hand for you know a last minute gift or something like that. These also would be great for heating up leftovers or maybe a little mini dip that needs to be heated up or something that you just want to pop in the toaster oven. So definitely a fun practical little aesthetic kitchen item to add to my serving wear collection. All right so the last thing I got was this really pretty black metal tray and the steal that I got on this was insane. I got this on clearance for $10 at Bed Bath & Beyond, and this looks identical to ones that they sell at Pottery Barn for $70. So definitely a really good price on this, and there's so many things you could use this for. This would look so pretty with candles on it, stacked on a mantle. This would also look really pretty in a kitchen as well if there were some items like canisters and a candle or in like a little piece of greenery that you needed to group together. I love Love how slender it is so it can kind of take up space back by the wall but you know not really intrude on our counter space so this guy is super heavy so it doesn't feel cheap at all I cannot believe the price that I got on this so definitely one of those high-end designer pieces that you can get for a fraction of the price <laughs> all right everyone that about wraps up this video I hope that you enjoyed seeing some of my newly acquired home decor pieces and how I plan to use them in my space so I want to thank you all so much for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give this video a thumbs up leave me a comment it really helps me know what kind of content you guys like to see and if you want to see more home decor hauls and if you do you know hit that thumbs up button because you know I'm always down to buy some more home decor <laughs> any excuse for you guys <laughs> no I'm just kidding but I want to thank you all seriously so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye